Hi everyone. So let us solve this example of series. Okay. So we have this series and we have to find its sum. That means we have to find a real number where it converges. Okay. So actually it is looking little bit difficult since many terms are there. So we will deal all those terms one by one. Okay. So first of all I will consider. See I consider summation 1 upon 2 raised to n. Only this part I have considered. Okay. So let us find the point of uh, that means where it converges. So uh, let us expand this series. If you put n is equal to 1, you will have 1 by 2. If you put n is equal to 2, 1 upon 2 square, right? n is equal to 3, 1 upon 2 cube plus and so on. That means here we have this series 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 plus and so on. So this is the actual series we have. So this is a geometric series getting now after since by multiplying each term you will you are getting a next term. So I will mention this is a geometric series with first term A with first term A first term easily you can see 1 by 2 and common ratio R. So maybe you will get confused what is a common ratio. So I will tell you the technique how can you calculate common ratio. I will calculate here this is my rough work A2 upon A1 what is A2 second term 1 by 4 a1 first term 1 by 2 this 2 is in denominator of denominator it will shift to the numerator so you will have 2 by 4 to 2 will get cancelled you will have 1 by 2 so in this way you can calculate common ratio which is 1 by 2 getting so to confirm it you can calculate a3 upon a2 no need to calculate both terms huh? but just to confirm so a3 is 1 by 8 a2 is 1 by 4 second term 4 is in denominator of denominator it will go to the numerator so you will have 4 by 8 4, 4 cancel and you will have 1 by 2. So here we are confirming that yeah, 100% common ratio is 1 by 2. So see, the most important thing is mod r, mod of 1 by 2. So but it is positive. So obviously it will be 1 by 2. So it is less than 1. So already we have seen geometric series. Getting now, so you know that the geometric series is convergent only when mod of r is less than 1. So here we have got mod of r is less than 1. So therefore, therefore the series is convergent. Therefore, therefore I will mention therefore summation n running from 1 to infinity 1 upon 2 raised to n is convergent and what is the sum of this series and summation n running from 1 to infinity 1 upon 2 raised to n what is the formula to calculate its sum it is a upon 1 minus r getting so let us put the values what is our a a is 1 by 2 1 by 2 r is r is also 1 by 2 1 minus 1 by 2 so this is 1 by 2 1 minus 1 by 2 you can cross multiply you will have 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 cancel you will have 1 so therefore summation n running from 1 to infinity 1 upon 2 raised to n its value is 1 okay i will call it as equation number 1 that means what we have done so this was a given problem and only we have calculated value of this term okay so let us focus on uh, focus on second part so now i will mention now we will consider a series so we are considering this series okay so see consider so how to find a uh, convergence of this series you with the help of sequence of partial sum okay but before that before that see i will try to express in more simple way huh? 1 upon n n plus 1 i am going to do some small adjustment that is summation n running from 1 to infinity a small adjustment i am going to do what is it n plus 1 minus n denominator i am keeping same huh? n n plus 1 have you understood what you have done it's an adjustment of n and minus n n and minus n will get cancelled and you will have 1 again after that i will divide separately I think the same problem already we have seen in our previous videos. So n plus 1 upon n, n plus 1. Here I am dividing separately n upon n, n plus 1. So what will happen? n plus 1, n plus 1 will get cancelled. So this is summation n running from 1 to infinity. We will have 1 upon n, n plus 1, n plus 1 cancel. And here n, n will get cancelled 1 upon n plus 1. So as I told you earlier that we are going to consider sequence of partial sum and with the help of that we will prove that this series is convergent. So let Sn be a sequence of partial sum. So I am considering Sn be a sequence of partial sum of this series. That is 
a same you know that sequence of partial sum means we add first n terms so this is a series uh, i will put n is equal to 1 so we will have 1 by 1 minus 1 by 2 if i put n is equal to 1 after that i will put n is equal to 2 1 by 2 minus if you put 2 1 by 3 next term if you put n is equal to 3 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 and so on obviously the last term will be 1 by n minus 1 by n plus 1 okay so see so can we cancel anything obviously we can cancel minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 will get cancelled minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 will get cancelled minus 1 by 4 and if you will have 1 by 4 here that will get cancelled similarly 1 by n also will get cancelled so what will be the remaining terms only the first term and the last term will be remaining part so they, therefore i will mention sn is equal to 1 upon 1 means 1 minus 1 upon n plus 1 so after that i will take limit of both sides so we'll come to know the uh, point of convergence Okay, so I have considered a limit of both sides. So see, but 1 is a constant, so you will have same 1. But if you apply limit on this one, you, you are putting infinity here. Now, what is value of 1 upon infinity? 0. So therefore, it is 1 minus 0, 1 we are getting. So that means sequence SN converges to 1, therefore corresponding series. So I can write, therefore, what was the corresponding series? The series was 1 upon N, N plus 1. That was the series we were discussing. Its value is also 1 as limit n tends to infinity. 1 tends to infinity. I will call it as equation number 2. Okay. So let us come back to the given question. So now we are considering. So now, now we are considering the given series. Okay. So now I am considering given series. What was that? That was summation. I am writing here the given part. 5 upon n. n plus 1 plus 1 upon n. 2 raised to n. So as I uh, already seen in a theorem algebra of convergent series, addition is there that means you can take separate separate thing. So n tends to n running from 1 to infinity 5 upon n n plus 1 here plus summation n running from 1 to infinity 1 upon 2 raised to n. 5 is also constant you can take it outside 5 summation n running from 1 to infinity 1 upon n n plus 1 summation n running from 1 to infinity 1 upon 2 raised to n what is the value of this one here using equation number 2 i can easily show you that its value is 1 so therefore 5 into 1 plus what about this one to uh, know the value of this one I, I have to show you the previous page in our previous page in equation number 1 already we have proved that value of this summation 1 upon 2 raised to n is 1 so therefore summation 1 upon 2 raised to n is 1 I am going to put 1. I will mention from equation 1 and 2. Both equations we are used here. So what will you have 5 into 1? 5 plus 1 we are getting. So it is equal to 6. So therefore I will mention therefore summation what we are finding. I will rewrite th that thing again. 5 upon n and plus 1 plus 1 upon 2 raised to n. Its value is 6. In this way, we have completed this problem. Thank you.